Greetings everyone, in this video we'll be looking at NCA level 3 probability distributions achievement standard and in this video I'll be focusing on uh, keywords and phrases that are associated with uh, inequalities and we will also look at uh, exam type questions. So we'll start off by looking at the uh, keywords and uh, phrases that are linked to inequality symbols that you will need to be familiar with for this uh, achievement standard. So first one is uh, less than and uh, the other keyword that goes with less than is uh, fewer than. And the second one is uh, more than, or it is uh, greater than. And then the um, uh, third one is less than or equal to. And the keywords that are associated with this inequality symbol uh, are at most. At most uh, means uh, less than or equal to, or uh, no more than. And the last one there is a maximum of. So these are the keywords that are linked to um, less than or equal to. And the uh, fourth one, um, greater than or equal to, uh, the keywords are at least. At least means uh, greater than or equal to, or uh, no less than. No less than will imply greater than or equal to, or a minimum of will also imply greater than or equal to. Now for this achievement standard, you will need to be familiar with uh, these uh, keywords that are linked to uh, these um, inequalities. So I'd suggest if you can pause the video and take notes as you go. And we'll be using graphics calculator. You will need to know that uh, graphics calculators are programmed with uh, less than or equal to. And uh, also note that uh, the probabilities will always lie between zero and one. And zero means uh, it's impossible to occur, whereas one means uh, certain. And this um, diagram here denotes all the um, likely outcomes. So impossible means uh, it cannot occur. Certain means uh, it has got 100% chance of occurrence. And somewhere in between is the likelihood of an event occurring. Moving on, we'll look at the exam type questions. In this example, it says if the probability of passing a practical driving test in Auckland is 80%, uh, what is the probability that um, uh, at most four of the next eight land drivers will pass their driving test? So that's the first uh, part to the problem. And the second part says uh, uh, what is the probability that at least five of the next um, eight learner drivers will pass their driving test. Now, if you're given uh, questions uh, in context like this in the assessment, what you will need to do first is uh, see if this is a binomial distribution, because there are five different types of distributions that you will need to be familiar with uh, for this achievement standard. So in this case, we know that the data is discrete because we're looking at um, learner drivers and we can count drivers. So uh, it's a discrete data, can take only whole number values. And uh, we'll uh, quickly check uh, if it meets the four conditions of binomial distributions. It has got fixed number of trials, and in this case, it says uh, eight linear trials. Each trial is independent. Instructor will not care if the last person has uh, passed the driving test or uh, failed. And uh, then the third one, it has got only uh, two possible outcomes because the driver can either pass or fail the test and the last one probability of success is consistent and in this case uh, the probability of success is given as 0.8 which is 80 percent as this meets the um, four conditions of binomial distribution we are good to uh, use uh, binomial distribution so the first one says uh, find the probability at most four so uh, the keyword at most means uh, four or less. So we can rewrite that as a probability when uh, the random variable X is less than equal to four, less than equal to four. And we know that um, there are eight learner drivers who are going for a practical driving test. So uh, we've got the numbers uh, between zero and eight. Zero means none of the drivers uh, are passing the driving test and uh, one driver is passing the test two, three, and so forth, all the way up to all eight of the drivers are uh, passing their practical driving test. That's why we've got the numbers uh, between zero and eight. All are discrete values, so it only takes whole number of values. We cannot have decimal number of drivers passing the driving test. So once I've got this information, I will need to uh, look at uh, the, um, the probabilities uh, when it's less than equal to four. So that means uh, I need the uh, uh, total probability between zero and four, as you can see in this case. 
and uh, to do that we will uh, use graphics calculator and on the graphics calculator we will select uh, binomial cumulative distribution because uh, we are not looking for exact value but in this case we are looking for uh, um, the total between zero and four so i'll quickly show you how to use your graphics calculator for this select uh, states mode and in the states mode f5 to select the distributions uh, and in this case we are looking for binomial distribution so f5 again uh, we've got two options uh, in my previous video i've shown you um, when to use uh, pd and when to use uh, cd in this case uh, we're looking for cumulative uh, distribution so i will select uh, cd and then data as variables here scroll down our x value in this case will be four so if i'm typing four calculator reads that as uh, less than equal to four because that's how it's programmed um, when we're using cumulative distribution and then uh, the next one is uh, number of trials in this case number of trials were next uh, eight learner drivers and the probability of success is 0 0.8 which was given to us so this gives us the uh, probability that we are after which is 0 0.05628 uh, the probability when x is less than or equal to 4 is equal to 0 0.05628 then we need to answer the question in context so we'll write a sentence the probability that at most four of the next uh, eight learner drivers will pass the practical driving test is uh, 0 0.0563 rounded to uh, four decimal places hope this makes sense i would suggest you can pause the video and try these yourself and see if your answer matches with this i'll do the second part to this problem in the next video thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video